Recently, Southern California's transportation revolution took a major move forward. Met Metrolink, the region's new commuter rail system, extended its service east to the city of Riverside. We caught a morning train to check out what it would be like to ride the rails to work. With a last chance to sample Metrolink from Riverside to downtown Los Angeles for free, we found a big crowd ready to check out an alternative to the family car and traffic jams. Okay. Metrolink's executive director is Richard Stanger. We started with 2,400 people on a typical day in November. We're now up beyond 7,000 on a typical day. And with the Riverside Line, and we expect to be close to 10,000 on a typical day. Interestingly enough, about 7 out of 10 of our riders used to drive alone. So of the 7,000 riders we have each day, they remove 4,500 cars from the freeway system. Sounds impressive. But are Southern Californians really ready to trade their cars for commuter trains? I used to drive from El Monte to El Segundo every day for 20 years, so uh, I can appreciate the train service. I wish they had it then. I think that eventually we've got to go to more trains because it's, it's too much driving, too much wear and tear on the car. And We need some, some sort of a mass transit to lure the people out of their cars. You know, most of the, most of the people just ride solo in their cars. What a waste of energy, space, you know, all that frustration that goes with it. This is the first time we've ever ridden it, and quite honestly, I think it's fantastic. I don't have to fight the traffic to go up to seminars. It's saving time and money. I think it's wonderful. You have time to read the newspaper, or yeah, I suppose some people would bring their computers, and maybe the laptop computers would work. In the traffic, you have to wait about an hour. It takes an hour to get here, stop and go, whereas here you can sit and relax, read the paper. Um, the cost is probably about the same with insurance and gas and everything. Um, it's a lot stressful driving back and forth in the traffic, and I think just the stress alone, the relief of that, is going to be great. I think um, the fact that we don't have to drive our cars anymore, and the fact that it's going to be less to pay for me. My employer will pick up $100, so it's going to be great for me. I'll be paid $12, no car. Wonderful. We feel that this is the way of the future. It's going to be the different trains instead of the automobile. I know a lot of people that have converted over and I, for one, <laughs> you know, somebody had told me about it and I said, okay, I'll give it a shot and I really love it, I'm sold. I think people are going to realize that, that uh, this is the only way to go. You know, I mean, more and more people see the train, she's by the freeway, they, they look over, you know, and they just see us relax and they're, they're fighting the traffic. So it's, I think they're going to realize that, yeah, this, this is the only way to go. Well, that's it for this edition of Transit 2000. Next time, we'll explore the high-tech world of fuel cells, a possible pollution-free power source for transportation in the 21st century. And we'll check out your transportation dollars at work, from highways to high-speed trains. And I'll have a report on high-technology buses. That and a lot more on the next edition of Transit 2000. See you then. Bye.